What's up my dudes, it's Brother Will here making another video for you. It's been a long time since I've made a video, but I felt called to release this one. Hopefully the last video got you connected with Jesus and reading the Bible, growing and learning. Hopefully it gave you the keys that you needed. I feel like we overcome by the word of our testimony and the blood of the Lamb. So I'm delivering more of the story of what God's done in my life. Disclaimer, these are things that I feel called to personally and after my own reading and understanding have decided to do. I'm in no way telling you to do any of those things. I'm in no way saying you should live your life like this. None of these, you can't do anything for salvation, but it's through uh, faith alone. And I'm just sharing some of these things that I've decided to do. Changes that happened in my life. Get to the nitty gritty. One of the first things that started um, after I had the encounter with Jesus is that I stopped smoking cigarettes, I stopped smoking marijuana, I stopped doing other drugs. I think smoking anything is bad for you and I'm also a follower of the law of the land. I started reading the Bible a lot after I got saved. I got a version plan where I read the Bible in a year, I read a little bit each day. I've done that about four times in the past six years, so I've read the Bible maybe four times through. I read other parts of the Bible while that's going on. I read other stuff outside the Bible. Sometimes I'll complete a plan and take a break from that and just read other stuff and then go back into something up, go back into the read the Bible in a year. But one of the things I read was keeping the law of the land. God appoints the leaders and they appoint the laws and to not bring judgment on myself. I keep the laws of the land. Some people call me a granny driver because I drive the speed limit all the time. <laughs> I try to drive the speed limit all the time. Uh, I don't want to bring judgment on myself. As long as the laws don't command me to sin, then I'll follow those. You know, I don't have a problem. I think it's re respect for authority. I do that out of respect for God. It's illegal to smoke marijuana or consume any other way in my state. Don't do that. Um, illegal drugs, other illegal drugs. Um, I feel like they are highly dangerous. They can open up portals where demons can attack you. You can get confused, lost, thrown in a hole, and where it's just about impossible to get out. Warning, word of caution and danger, your life can turn into what feels like hell in those situations. So um, I highly discourage those. Some people in my last video, they're like, oh yeah, you meant Jesus, like, what drugs are you on? I wasn't on any drugs. If I was on any drugs, then I'd feel like my testimony would be discredited and I wouldn't feel comfortable sharing that with you. So uh, no drugs under the influence. Just amazing truths that happen. Um, other things, I used to have dreadlocks. I used to have these gnarly dreads. Maybe I'll post a picture. One of the first things I felt like God has challenged me to is will you cut your dreads for me? You know, I've had these for like six or seven years and a big part of who I was, but I felt like a new man after I got saved. Uh, part of embracing a new identity. I was like, well, Jesus didn't doesn't have dreads, so I don't know why I have these. Um, I guess I'll cut them off. So I, it was a big step. I cut off my dreads. Um, kind of crazy. There's a video up online of, of me doing that somewhere. And that was cool. I used to be a vegetarian. I was a vegetarian for maybe six, seven years or more. I thought that eating animals was bad, and especially the industrialization of animals as meat products, um, especially violent and horrific. So I didn't do that. I was reading the Bible a lot and how God talks about certain animals for consumption for you. So as I say, after I got that, I was back on team chicken wing. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, I don't eat uh, pigs or catfish or um, shellfish, shrimp, any unclean animals. Uh, something I've read. I think God said it for a reason uh, not to eat those things. That was established before Israel was established. There were clean and unclean animals pretty much always. I'm not here to debate. This is just how I live my life. So don't debate me. This is how I choose. I'm not telling you to do it. Um, other things that happen in my life is that I've, I started going to church. I know I knew these people uh, also were seeking Jesus. Um, um, I was also called, the Lord was challenging me with celibacy, with being single as well on top of that. So that was a really tough challenge and I've been celibate for five or six years since I've been saved. I've been single that long, I haven't been in a committed relationship any of that time. And you know Jesus said this is a very hard saying, those who can receive it should receive it. Um, it's better to be single than in a relationship. Um, he says that some people choose to be celibate and single for the, the glory of the kingdom of heaven. Jesus was celibate and single his whole life. I don't know if that's a plan for me my whole life. Could be. Maybe so. We'll see what happens. 
Um, those who can't handle it, there's marriage. But I feel like that's kept me kept me out of so much uh, danger and harm and been a huge blessing in my life, not getting tangled up in things. And yeah, super blessing, so I'm super thankful for that. Other things he was challenged me to, when reading the Bible, I felt called to the Sabbath, which, I, which uh, for me is sundown Friday to sundown Saturday. And during that time, I, it's a time of rest for me. I don't, no man can make me work during that time. I, I'm totally free from all work. I can work all the other days of the week, but ain't nobody gonna make me work that time because God has appointed to me as a time of rest. I'm so thankful. Thank you, Lord, for that. And I don't make other people work for me. I don't go out to eat and have people serve me or anything like that. I spend time reading, spend time praying, spend time praising. It's a big call for me because I'm a musician and some of the biggest the biggest nights of the week, pretty much Friday night, Saturday, you know. So I don't do uh, work during that time. Gave that up. That was a huge thing. So super cool. Yep, it's been a huge blessing to me. Feel called to it. So do it to it. Not telling anybody else to do that at all. Um, what's another thing? I had short hair for a while. Um, eventually, I said, "How should I style myself? You know, how, what what should I do?" I, I examined myself in styling, and I said, "You know, at least for a season, at least for a period, that I want to have hair like Jesus and uh, facial hair like Jesus." Before I was shaving, I was rocking the baby Jesus look, but I decided to go for the more full, mature Jesus look. And I thought it'd be precious, so I did that. I don't really know where to go from here. Like, does it get any better? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm gonna model myself after the king for sure. So I've been loving it. Um, another crazy thing I did in the past video, you saw um, I wasn't doing this, but I've been doing this since for quite some time now, is that I chose to wear only white now. When I saw Jesus, he was clothed in white. He also had a, a white headband. I think it represents purity of thought, uh, purity of body, purity of mind. All right, all right, I love it, and I roll with it. So all the time, this is what you see me in just every day, man. <laughs> every day, rocking it. And I think it's super fly, super cool. I'm starting the party early. We're gonna be wearing white in heaven. I'm just bringing the party down here first. <laughs> Definitely. 